welcome to Voice What presents the great business story Transforming India in association with NDTV Profit. When it comes to modern homes and modernized living, these are the two things that are offered by Total Environment. This is an organization that has provided these kind of homes to over 1,200 customers across Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Pune. The love for design, the pursuit for craftsmanship. These are the two things that set them apart in total. We have with us Kamal Saga as well as Shibani Saga, both of them founders of Total Environment. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm told that both of you are architects and the moment I entered this space and every nook and corner was spelling your love for nature as well as design. And I'm sure that is reflected in all projects of yours. And the reason why I'm specifying this is I want to know the journey of Total Environment ever since its inception in 1996. So if you could track its growth, its success story for the last 28 years. Thank you. Um, so we started off with a, in a very small way. And initially it was just a frustration with the construction quality and with the way housing is being built in the city that uh, sparked the desire to do something about it. We did a small building in the beginning which was 12 apartments uh, for a, sold the first few to a few friends. After that it was you know we went around giving presentations to tech companies and we managed to sign up with two groups one from Microland about 16 people and 12 from um, Saskin, another project, Bogan Villa for Saskin, and green is the color for the Microland guys. And uh, so it started with that. We built uh, for them as a group. We understood what they wanted, designed, and uh, and then built those apartments. Uh, and, and you know, sitting with families and designing their interiors. We moved on from building for a group of employees of a company to uh, our very first project, where again just 16 units, but where we gave an ad for the first time and. Uh, somebody called in and then we showed them what we are doing and then we sold to them. 1996 all the way till about 2005, six. Around that time we acquired the land for one of our largest projects at that time, Windmills of Your Mind, which we launched then in 2008. So the first time here we had 24 acres and we could design more with more freedom. Different learnings at different stages from people related things to, uh, you know, construction, to uh, even like sales and marketing and as we go, went along we kept learning on how to how to become better at each of those and uh, slowly from there to now where we have several such large projects uh, so that's where we are right now it's exciting. So when it comes to uh, Kamal and Shibani architects how crucial has that role been in terms of aligning with the journey of total environment? I think it was more like frustrated architects I mean, that's where the journey began, so definitely it had something to do with design there and we want your uh, design to actually uh, be executed really well, right? Having that terrace garden made a difference, having that connect with nature made a huge difference because then you know, you know that even when you're, you know, indoors, you have that connect with, you have that earth connect. And that, uh, say, like when we first started and we had uh, this set of uh, employees from whether it was Saskin or, uh, or Microland, we actually custom did their homes, which also means that, you know, we got this opportunity to talk to them about their requirements so we could design for them. And I can tell you today that those people are perhaps our closest friends. I mean, design apart, what really drives or inspires total environment? Are there, I mean, you already mentioned there are other factors. What are those factors? I think just this aspiration to be really good. It's a never ending, uh, unachievable goal at some level. So I think that's what drives us every single day to become better. The real energy comes from there. You know, how do we, you can see where you are and all the gaps and all the things you need to do. So. The energy is just to fix that and get better and better. I think that's the that's what uh, drives it. And I think what uh, helps a lot is the love that we get from customers. And we hear uh, stories from them, or you know, or they send us an email, or they, you know, you walk. Uh, sometimes you know, I walk into a project and 
people into a project that's already completed and people get to know that I'm there and I get messages saying, Kamal, I saw you, will you come home for a chai? So things like that, that warmth that you get, I think those are the things that help you feel that you're doing the right thing. And uh, it kind of just affirms uh, what you're doing. <laughs> Can you throw light on the different kinds or types of projects as well as products that you offer at Total Environment? We have different types of products. We have duplex apartments, we have single level apartments, three bedroom, L-shaped where you know with a garden in the middle or linear where every room opens out or semicircular or and we have villas again courtyard style or so based on different needs and different kinds of uh, goals that we are trying to achieve we have created different products which uh, which we are then able to keep improving so we have uh, let's say a D35 version 1 at the magic faraway tree we have version 2 at Songs from the Wood in Pune. We have version 3 at um, Pursuit of Radical Rhapsody in, in Tower 8. And now we are looking at a, a version 4 happening in Goa. And uh, so it keeps improving. And I think that's a concept that doesn't exist in this industry. And, but it allows us to make it better and better. I mean, they say God lies in the details. So when it comes to uh, the kind of focus that you have on the details, how do you really think about it that would set them apart because no one else should have really thought about it? Many things. Uh, our stairs, very often people ask us, what have you done? Why are they so comfortable? And <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the <laughs> secret, but, <laughs> but there's lots yes. of little details that uh, make uh, that bring in the joy of you know enjoying a space. Uh, our skirtings from the very beginning, normally when you have a skirting at the base of a wall, it projects. Right? And then what that does is you can't push the furniture all the way to the end, then you have to keep it away and there's a gap which you can't clean. So we decided we'll make it completely flush and then provide a you know aluminium channel between the wall and the, and the skirting to create, uh, to ensure that the, you know, the uh, the cracks don't show up and stuff like that. So the lo I mean, several such details <laughs> just makes it work much better. No, but what does it involve for a customer to walk in to get a well-furnished home at Total Environment? Because I did hear about something called e-design and how does that help in this regard? First of all, we sell our homes with three different spec ranges. So a customer can buy our homes. The default is what we call our blue specifications, but a customer can also buy green or purple. So our blue specs come with all the furniture, with the, with the beds, with the wardrobes, with the fully equipped kitchen and everything else. So if you want to, you want everything with the furniture, then you buy the blue spec home. But every single thing is changeable, editable. So when you log in, once you bought from us, you log into our e-design platform. Uh, uh, it, you, you can then select every piece of furniture and you, you can change it or delete it and add something else. And you have so much of commonalities. You have the love for nature, the love for design, the love for architecture, the love for homes, and you also have love for music. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this as well is because uh, we see musicians from the world over walking in and performing at uh, the Total Environment Music Foundation. How did this initiative come about? Well, I've just been, I always loved music from the time I was born. It's, my dad is crazy about music, so I grew up <laughs> listening to music from the very beginning and all kinds of music uh, right from you know Latin American music to Western classical music to African to rock jazz a lot of jazz I think I just wanted to bring some of that beautiful music to everybody because uh, it's there in deep corners of you know of the world really beautiful music so I just wanted to uh, bring that out make it available to uh, every for everyone to enjoy I just started it as a small little thing with windmills, a brewery that we have and uh, like a little jazz theatre and we brought in some artists but uh, I think people just love it and I'm very happy that it, it worked out that way. But when it comes to the vision for Total Environment, where do you see Total Environment in the next five to ten years? Our aspiration has always been to inspire people. So in that direction what, what we started out with still continues, we still want to be better at what we are in, in, in what we do so uh, a large part of that vision or uh, you know goal for the next five ten years is to uh, bring in more systems um, to deliver better quality 
So one part is that, the other part is reliability, is that if things are there, they need to work, they need to continue to work. You know, your windows should not allow mosquitoes in or dust in, uh, they should slide smoothly, the, everything, the, the air conditioning, the, the hot water in the bathrooms, everything should continue to just work and it should not even allow you to even think about it, just, you just need to take it for granted that it's going to work. For me, I mean, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder is what I've heard and uh, this place is definitely truly testament to that. But uh, for the viewers who are watching us, uh, if they are looking to purchase a home that is very thoughtfully designed and according to their tastes, what would your message be for those viewers? When you're looking to buy a home, think of it as a home for yourself and your family, not just real estate. Yes, there is a real estate investment angle, very, very important, of course. Authentic design and understanding, asking yourself, what do I really want? What do I want versus, uh, you know, it's so, we often say our homes are designed for your inner self. They are for, for, for what you want, it's not for anybody else. So I think it's, uh, when you think about it that way, then, you know, it, it works for forever. <laughs> I would definitely love to carry those messages home and I'm sure the viewers would love to carry that as well. And thank you so much for you know being with us. It was such a pleasure talking to both thank of you. you. And I would like to thank the viewers as well for watching this and my crew for having put everything together. Thank you. Welcome back to Voice What presents the great business story transforming India in association with NDTV Profit. We are here at Algoleap, a Hyderabad based global firm that deals with digital engineering solutions. They have already earned a reputation for solving complex AI problems and they also have a successful innovation lab for innovating with the clients. co-founders of the company, Dr. Pani Baruri and also Prashant Achanta, just three years and you have uh, earned a name for yourself in the global space and going from the start line to 450. How did this journey actually happen? First of all, thank you ma'am for this opportunity, great to be here. Uh, so uh, Prashant and I uh, were in senior leadership at global outsourcing firms and we co-founded Algoli to create a next-gen digital engineering services company. Uh, the core focus here is to create a high-impact uh, digital transformation for our clients. And we are truly inspired by firms like Netflix and Cisco. And uh, we want to bring that culture into IT services. Uh, which is very rare in services industry, right? So the, the idea is to build small, highly skilled teams uh, that are uh, dealing with AI-first, uh, cloud-first approach to delivering digital transformation. And I think our strategy has worked and that's the reason why we have rapidly grown to 450 people in less than three years uh, with 25 plus market clients. Wow. Uh Prashant, what do you think makes Algoleap really, truly unique? We are definitely unique. Our uh, uniqueness comes from several factors and their interplay. First, in terms of what we do. We deliver product efficiencies to traditional IT. We, are, we build modern apps, we are AI first and cloud first. We essentially work on the cutting edge of digital. Our talent. Our technical consultants and our business consultants are a couple of notches better than their peer group, our organization. We've had the benefit of hindsight, so we structured ourselves as a role-based organization as opposed to grade-based organizations that the industry operates on. The career architecture that we have places a lot of emphasis on roles and specialization. So from a supply side standpoint, we offer a fantastic home for folks looking for specialized career paths. 
from a demand side standpoint for large enterprises we offer a credible alternative to large outsourcing and we check all the boxes from a market fit standpoint we are solving a problem which is a white space we are uh, signing up uh, several enterprise customers we have very active engaging discussions uh, with our clients we are hiring top notch talent and we are scaling up we are scaling up fast and we are doing it profitably should i say this kind of a trajectory of growth should i ask you what is your secret sauce our primary focus is into three areas uh, one as we discussed is digital product engineering services two is ai and advanced analytics three is service management and coming to the secret sauce uh, i think uh, we are driven by innovation through our r&d which we call as algolip studios uh, where we actually try to solve uh, some of the uh, critical challenges and complex problems of our clients so as as we speak in 3 years we have done about 50 studio projects these are different from the regular projects that we do mm -hmm. where we are experimenting with cutting edge technologies and this was possible because uh we have developed around 25 consulting frameworks and about 15 accelerators which is which is actually putting us ahead of uh, the curve actually pani mentioned about being ai first and cloud first artificial intelligence per se has become that kind of a buzzword in the contemporary world where some people will say this is the solution for everything and some others are the doomsayers saying it's going to you know change the world like that business perspective wise what is your perspective on what ai can do that's a very good question um for us uh, ai is essentially at the core of our operating model we want to make ai work for enterprises uh, we look at our clients and we look at the business transformation agenda and uh, we try to drive aspects like zero ops where we design for zero ops 100% automation and then we kind of push the envelope on ai to deliver to that promise we look at uh, ai and injecting ai into every aspect of the development life cycle requirements capture build test and support uh, we encourage and we actually mandate all our uh, you know employees to go through a 100 days of uh, ai program where uh, they start from the basics and they actually do like you know several pilots and you know this culminates in a capstone project where you know uh, you you demonstrate your capability so this way you know uh, for our internal studios or when we work for enterprises we are able to bring the best of ai to the table and uh, last but not the least uh, the studios offer us an edge we continue to do a lot of r&d in our studios last year or like year and a half when when this entire gen ai buzz came to the fore all our peers all our clients were like focused on commercial ai platforms we were too but what we did was we also focused on open source to offer an alternative right to our clients and to ourselves and tried to see how to make it work right that kind of presented like you know uh, unique opportunities and unique positioning for us all in all you know we have about 45 ai projects which are active right now and for a firm you know which is so young we are incredibly proud of uh, you know what we've done so far you spoke about zero op uh, in many senses human resources perhaps at the core of uh, any kind of a company innovation and so on uh, i saw in your office you uh, you know very proudly you put up this great place to work kind of a tag that you wear and rightly so uh, what is that algoli persona that you are looking for what kind of people come to you and work with you because this kind of a growth curve obviously requires certain things that are uh, essential definitely uh, in our early days when we had the core team in uh, we kind of looked at what we were trying to achieve what do we mean to clients uh, how do we define ourselves we laid out a set of principles right uh, that we felt uh, were very core to our dna and as we scale up our firm we wanted to make sure all of us live with these principles so that the dna stays intact you know we want to deliver you know product efficiencies let's learn from the best let's look at what the best saas product engineering firms are doing out there 
best practices, design, architectures that they are looking at. Second, we all aim to be disruptive, not incremental. Uh, let's solve for today, but let's also think about tomorrow and the year ahead, right? Think mega scale. You know, the other aspect is, uh, and this is very key uh, for being agile, is fast decisioning. We don't want to break any rules, but we also don't want to wait till all the clouds clear, right? Bias to act is like a key personal attribute, uh, you know, we want to make sure everyone has uh, in our uh, firm. You know, last but not the least, right, uh, we value critical thinking uh, above like a lot of other uh, factors. Uh, I mean, when we look at engineers, programming skills, programming guardrails are key, key but uh, problem solving is important. If you're a business consultant, it's important to do requirements capture, but like, you know, design thinking is, is what sets us apart. So that's, that's how we view things. Next two to three years, let's look at that timeline. What is your strategy is going to be? You've had a great run the last uh, less than three years. So in an agile world, we think short. So probably, you know, 12 to 24 months is what uh, I can talk about. So we want to work on a lot of uh, cutting edge technologies, keep experimenting technologies like AI, edge computing, quantum computing. We want to focus on that and we want to uh, deliver more and more prototypes that uh, would actually, uh, and in conjunction with the business problems that our clients are having. So everything is collaborating with clients. I think we do everything for clients. And uh, we want to deliver some uh, outcomes that are beneficial to our clients. That's, that's number one, right? Second uh, is a very important part is uh, people. Uh, we want to uh, hire more high, highly skilled people or highly skilled engineers that we call and also upskill the existing workforce because uh, as you know technology is ever changing uh, probably it's ever changing or it is changing uh, faster than we have what we have seen in our earlier years uh, i think we have to uh, be uh, you know uh, uh, catching up with those technologies and uh, we, we want to focus on that and train people and upskill people. Uh, lastly, uh, we are in services business, so we want to actually uh, focus on client outcomes. Uh, successful client is the success mantra for our company. So we want to focus on delivering solutions that are personalized and data driven uh, through the cutting edge technologies. Uh, so these are the three things that we want to focus in next 12 to four month, 24 months. Less than three years, 450, and next two years you're saying go up to 1,000. That's amazing, but we in, the, we in the media like headlines, and therefore I'll ask you your headline goals. Headline goal is uh, to become 1,000 people. Uh, again, uh, being, being a trusted advisor to our clients, and I think uh, we will get there in less than two years. Okay, thank you so much. Fascinating talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you, ma'am.